it's your girl you know neither brat but you know that let me i didn't want to do this but you know since i have to um, i mean i don't have to but i'm going to so i posted my dsu roommate horror story yes the fuck i did why because it's my story and people have been asking me about it so i'm gonna post it let me tell y'all something i'm 20 20 years old almost 21 I can say and do what I want. Y'all act like I spit on somebody's dead grandmother or something. Like, shut up. All the all of y'all opinions, I don't care about it. I really don't. I made a disclaimer days ago saying I don't care about what y'all have to say. So y'all still watching the video, y'all still clicking on it, y'all still searching me up. I can see all my um logistics and shit like that i can see that so for you to watch the video and then tell me your unpopular opinion dead it i don't care i said what i said and that's 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 just that on that but back to the story so basically you know the kappa party tatiana wasn't taken care of uh duck number two and i called her cluck yes yeah, she did not take care of her my friend had to and that's just weird because your friend is out of it you know she's drunk as fuck and you couldn't even take the time to go take care of her so I knew I could not fuck with her. Fast forwarding to, um, what's her name? To Christmas break, I, me and my friends, like I said in the video, we all lived in laws together. Um, it was winter break or whatever, so we wanted to have a sleepover. Campus got shut down, so you know everything was closed. Um, I went into my room when I came back from my um, one of my night classes to see baby Kodak, um, Tatiana's friend, on my bed on top of my made up bed on top of that so i have a problem with that nobody wants your hair your oils your body scent i don't want none of that on top of my stuff like that should be understandable that should be a thing like you don't go in other people's houses and sit on top of their bed i mean they probably are okay with that i'm not so that's just that on that um basically hours later uh tatiana posted a uh, baby kodak on top of my bed she wasn't in my covers i have my covers but she was on top of my bed which had my sheet on it I have a problem with that because I, again, I sleep on that bed and you, you don't. So there's no reason why your body should be on my bed. And like I said to Tatiana, like my friends never touch your stuff. They don't sit on your stuff. They don't sleep in your bed. None of that. So as you know, baby Kodak's friend, you should have said something to her. Boom. So I seen it on Snapchat or whatever. I seen it on the law Snapchat story and I addressed her in text messages, which is why she told me she was going to show me what a Philadelphia ass whooping was. And like I said, it don't matter where you come from. It don't matter what area code you rep in. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Your hands shouldn't, don't, people can, you can be from the hardest area and get your ass beat. Bitches get beat up all the time, whether they're big, small, little, medium, large, it don't matter. Bitches get beat the hell up, okay? So all this talking about how you gonna show me a Philadelphia ass whooping, do what you gotta do. Like, what's really up? What's good? So basically, Tatiana ducked the fade. She ducked the fade and she left. And I didn't see her. I had to end up going to our RA. I knew our RA was going to side with her anyway because they were closer. And she basically told me that I was at fault for everything that was going on between me and Tatiana. Okay, cool. But again, Tatiana's grown. I'm not going to sit here and nitpick at every little thing you're doing. You know what the fuck you're doing. And if I have to tell you what the hell you're doing, that's a problem. I'm not your mother. I'm not your auntie, your grandma, none of that. You were grown. Bottom line, period. So... I told the RA, I said, you know, um, get another RA in the room for your safety. Literally, that's what I told her. What the fuck? I meant that. I had every intention of going into that peer mediation and beating Tatiana's ass. Y'all think I'm playing. My bitches are witnesses to this shit. I was ready to do bodily harm to her. So, yes, I needed somebody else in that room. So, we went. You laughing? I'm so serious. So, we went to, uh, so, you know, basically the next day. I didn't see none of them. So, you know, and like Tatiana said in the messages, I wish I had them, but I don't. She said in the messages, when I see you, what's on site? She seen me the next day at MLK, the day of peer mediation with her duck friends, like I said, and she didn't say shit to me. They all sat there in front of Chick-fil-A doing whatever they was doing best. They didn't check me. They didn't say nothing to me. She didn't step to me, none of that. So, you know, we see me and my friends. We got a little food, sat on top of uh, the MLK in the second floor for peer mediation to happen boom peer mediation comes we get back into laws you don't know how laws were set up when they had the little couches and little furniture in the front yeah they was all lined up like ducks in a row 
against the low wall, talking all this shit and dressed ready to fight. So of course I'm gonna keep continuing to go into peer mediation with the intention of y'all wanna fight, I wanna fight, what's up? So we gain a peer mediation, Tatiana wanna be acting like a child. When I was given the floor to talk, she wanted to be disrespectful and talk over me. So when it was her turn, I did the same thing. The reason why I got out of my body the way I did was because she brought up a personal issue that had nothing to do with what we were going through at that moment. So I told her, bitch, get the hell up, drop your shit, what's up, let's go, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> At this point, I'm done. I want to draw blood. I want to do bodily harm to you. So what's really fucking good with you? What's up? So she took off her little slides, talking about some, it ain't nothing but a line across. Cross the line. I'm provoking you on purpose so you can hit me. And mind you, the whole time this conversation is going on in peer mediation, I have my iPhone in my, uh, so in my hoodie pocket so my bitches could hear everything that's going on. And I was texting somebody at the same time, too. The person I want to fall with now knows what the fuck I'm talking about. So, yes, I had four witnesses that night listening to everything that was going on. I'm not making this up. And if y'all want to go get y'all little car fast, sis, go ahead, because I'm going to drop it on this video any damn way. So, anyway. Um... Uh, she's pro I'm provoking her it's working so I go out the entrance uh, way of the laws office if y'all remember how laws was set up and then there was a back way that connected to the hallway of laws Tatiana goes out that way I go out the other way and I meet her around so I'm in her face I'm provoking her again what's up so hit me I need you to hit me so that way when I take it above everybody's head they know that I um excuse me that I took precautions I did what I was supposed to do Nobody wanted to listen to me, so yes, this is why I'm beating your ass. So, you know, she didn't want to hit me, so at that point, I'm like, you know what, bitch, fuck it, I'm gonna just swing. The moment I swung, I was getting dragged by my friends, but mind you, while I was getting dragged, well, before I got dragged, Tatiana and her little duck friends, they was all up in my face like they was trying to hit me, and my bitches was telling them, yo, chill out, y'all not gonna jump her, that, none of that's going down, period. So, you know, I said a whole bunch of shit, I don't give a fuck, I said everything that, I, when I'm mad, when you're mad, you say shit that you don't mean, but bitch, I meant it, because at this point, I want your head, I want blood drawn, I want you in a hospital that's how fed up i got with this bitch and i don't give a fuck about what the hell y'all gotta say about what i'm saying you could tell her what the fuck i said because she already knows what the fuck it was and how the energy was and i kept that same energy throughout this whole fucking story and through that whole night and them whole couple of days before christmas break was over but anyway so they called the cops on me campus security or whatever and i got kicked out of laws at like two o'clock in the morning moved into jenkins boom so i at this point they're on the snap the law snapchat store i'm gonna post the video somewhere talking about i'm about to fight everybody like so you're not like that you don't so stay call. tuned we'll be back energy. thank you they y'all were provoking the fuck out of me and thinking i'm not gonna say nothing and then it's oh i'm worried about my education your education is not an excuse for you to be doing all this with your mouth i don't want to hear it Education, my nigga, you starting to fight at school. You're already ruining your education. Like, yes, like you already threw this shit out the window. Like, yeah, your education don't got shit to don't do with me. About education. Exactly. So my point taken. So. I called Tatiana numerous of times. She blocked me. She blocked my iMessage number. I called her on Snapchat, FaceTime her, all that. She blocked me. And then I made a shady ass post. I'm going to post it here with the screenshots. One of her duck friends, um, I don't even care, duck number one, had all this shit to say and was basically fighting Tatiana's battle. My battle's not with you, it's with your friend. So you chose to take it upon yourself to have an issue with me. Mind you, I don't even know you from a can of paint. I met you a couple times. That was just that on that. So for you to sit here and insert yourself in something that has nothing to do with you, that's your problem. So if you want all the smoke, you can get it that's just how it was at the time so i'm calling texting them nobody want to come outside everybody's worried about their scholarships and putting and not worried about putting their education in danger from the moment you opened your mouth to me from the moment you positioned your body to me the, from the moment you was got on law snapchat doing all of this running your mouth and i wasn't even in the same vicinity as you but the energy was not the same in that room when i was ready to do bodily harm to tatiana like come on now so yeah, so we didn't end up fighting because, you know, they were scared. They were worried about their education. But like I said, nobody was worried about their education when mouths started to get opened up and the people started popping that shit. So, and the messages, uh, what's the name? Duck number one was telling me to pull up or whatever. I never got an address on Christmas break, none of that. And mind you, what am I going to fight on Christmas break for? Especially one, if my issue's not with you. And two, it's Christmas break. I'm not trying to ruin nobody's holiday. If anything, I'm what's trying to do my own. On? I'm not tapping on nothing. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's just that's just the tea on that with the story. So for all y'all coming to me with y'all opinions, I really don't care because like I said, it happened two years ago. This is strictly for content and people have actually asked me about this story. I don't need clout off of none of these females. I'm a published fucking author. I'm on Google. You can Google my ass and see all the shit that I'm doing. Like I really don't I need no clout for no bitch.
sense. Like y'all, y'all quick to be like, y'all quick to listen to anybody else's story. But the moment y'all see somebody local that's telling a story about y'all little school, I it's a problem. problem. Somebody commented. Y'all wanna make it all. Yeah, somebody Jesus. commented on my uh, story you talking about. Story, school, yeah, the school, that's the point. Campus, right? Yeah, somebody did. That, somebody commented on my shit talking about some. Um, talking about uh, this uh, DSU is about unifying Black excellence. You're right. HBCUs are for unifying Black excellence and coming together as one, as a you know a race, all that. Cool. I'm I'm with that. But. It's, y'all missed the point, obviously. It's not about DSU itself. I love DSU, the school. I love the people in it. Like I said, shout out to the class of 2021. For those who are still there at DSU, y'all doing y'all damn thing, and I'm so proud of y'all. Keep doing what the fuck y'all are doing, and that's just that for y'all. But it's what goes on inside the university. That's the that's the point y'all missed. Y'all missed the fucking point, obviously. The point was to talk about what, what, what was going on inside the university. I literally went through hella shit. I went through hella shit in one fucking semester as an incoming freshman and that was unnecessary as fuck especially when i didn't do shit to this girl we were cool like i said we were cool before we even moved in we went to nso together to make sure to make sure it was stamped that we could start, literally live together for a whole fucking year and clearly that didn't happen so i don't give a fuck about your opinions what the fuck y'all gotta say y'all can tell your whoever you can tell your mommy your daddy your granny your auntie your uncle i don't give a damn because y'all still watching this shit so i don't really care Take this shit down, that face. They, man, I, take it down. Take it down, because they, they already disliking. I can bleep it out. I can bleep it out. I'll bleep it out. But you get my point, like, so from here on out, I'm done talking about this story. I don't really care for it. I don't care about what y'all have to say. Like I said in the disclaimer, it is what it is. Shout out to those at DSU that still go there. It's an amazing school, has an amazing program. It's cool. Like, I love the, the vibe. I love the university vibe, all that. I love the people there that I still, you know, talk to that go there, all that. But I just had to say what I said and that's just it so after this don't hit me up about the story why I told it two years later I, it could be a lot I could be 56 years old with a multi-million dollar movie deal and I'll make it into a movie if I wanted to I'm gonna say what the hell I want to say so that's just that on that um I'm po well the proof will be the proof is in the pudding and it's gonna be on this video so you can do what you want with that it's old I don't really care like I said I told my story Ooh, so mad oh well um but uh what's coming in store for my channel is pretty much all business related so all this that's going on now it's whatever i mean i expected this because like i said it's dsu i follow hella people that go there so i knew what i knew what i was doing when i was posting this so it's not like i'm slow or like i'm ducking the fade i'm not ducking no fade i ain't finna fight about no shit that happened two years ago because again where was the energy when it happened two years ago so it is what it is leave it alone stay blessed be blessed keep watching it i mean y'all still watching it so <laughs> watch it do what you, do what you gotta do why y'all wanna be negative now though like it's already done past she telling her journey y'all can either shut up or pretty much shut up and respect it just like y'all have a story to tell she got a story to tell if you do not care Ain't no, it's not about who talking about who. Yes, you're going to be... My nigga, she told the story, so of course she's going to get talked about. But you're not going to be the main motherfucker on her channel. So stop being immature, small-minded people. Because y'all the same people that still work in a 9-to-5 and won't even take an investment in y'all shit. Y'all barely want to invest in just in the smallest shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all come on now, motherfuckers trying to get their bag. Ain't nobody trying to get on cloud for nobody. Y'all obviously, obviously watching her because she's somebody. She cool. She a cool ass person. So y'all gonna support and keep watching it or don't click it. But like I said, you do watch it. The haters will make your pockets fatter. I'm just that's it. Like that's how we come in. Like stop, stop with the negative shit. Motherfuckers ain't got time for that. And don't nobody don't. got time to fight nobody. We too grown. And she don't. told her piece, and, and it is. It's just for y'all. It's not for y'all. It's for other people. Say for high school, 
school, they thinking about how, like, who they want a roommate with. They may search it up there, like, ooh, bad roommates, you know what I'm saying? You never fucking know. Y'all gotta stop being so small-minded. But, hey, you did make the video, so you should be kind of happy. You got a little clout off her, off her YouTube channel. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, really, and you keep and y'all keep, you know, telling people, telling a friend, telling a friend. Y'all making my views go up. You're making my watch time minutes go up. You're getting my subscriber count up. You're doing all rich, this. Okay. So I don't really care. At the end of the day, like I said, um, she said what she said on his phone, and that's just that on that. Um, from here on out, you know, it's uh, it's business. We gonna learn how to, you know. Get you published author for free, you know. Like I said, we, yeah, we finna, we finna. I'm finna show y'all how to really make some money, like, cause it's 2019. You could literally make money off of anything. There's people on Twitter eating alligators and making hella money. Come on now, like, why would you not want to learn how to make some money? So I got that for y'all. You know, like, comment, subscribe on this video, cause like I said, after this, I don't want to hear nothing about it. It is what it is. Comment what you want. I don't care. That's just that on that. I'll see you on the next video. Damn, my nose is ugly, but...